Feel that breeze. Whoosh. It's a stellar wind, but not from good old Saul, our sun, which is a mere 93 million miles away. This stellar wind comes from 32,000 quintillion miles away. The result of a pas de deux, a dying dance, and the photon momentum pressure that they provide together as they embrace each other in a dance for all eternity. And it's also one of the most dramatic observations of the James Webb Space Telescope to date. Come along, let's dive deep into the physics of dusty stars. Webb released a vivid image called by some, well, really just me, the Lord of the Rings. A vivid image of 17 concentric rings of space dust emanating from a pair of stars which orbit around each other in a parabolic dance of cosmic proportions, creating spectacular stellar storms and leaving reverberating, mesmerizing rings of cosmic dust behind. The dynamic duo of stars has been dubbed with the less than stellar moniker of WR124. Binary star systems are common. In fact, most stars that you can see in the Milky Way galaxy with your naked eye are actually multiple star systems, either double or even triple star systems. As many as 85% of all stars in our own galaxy have a nearby gravitationally bound dance partner or two. But this pair, this tangoing duo, is an extra special set. At the closest point to each other, the two stars in WR124 point in which astronomers call the periastron, the gravitational interactions between the two of them peel off giant clouds of space dust. This space dust cloud gets propelled by massive stellar winds, but it only occurs at regular intervals. It's not occurring continuously. These incredible stellar winds move at speeds nearing 6 million miles per hour over a three-dimensional dance floor that's over 5,000 light years away from Earth. An astronomical unit is the 93 million mile distance between the Earth and the Sun. So this is enormous on the scale of our entire solar system. This great distance between the two dance partners doesn't sound very romantic, does it? Maybe there's a nearby John Lithgow chaperoning and supervising them, keeping them separate in the apocal science movie Footloose. Don't you talk like that in here! The dancers here, though, are giant stars, not Hollywood heartthrobs and their dance partners. They're located in the constellation Cygnus, 5,600 light years away. One of these two dance partners is a giant star called a Wolf Rayet type star, thousands of times brighter and much hotter than our sun. And it's, in fact, 20 times the mass of our sun. This is a rare type of star that's running so hot that it is rapidly running out of its hydrogen fuel and will go supernova long before our sun meets its end. These types of stars, Wolf Rayet, are namesake of two different French astronomers, one named Charles Wolf, the other one George Rayet, who discovered the first of its kind in 1867. These stars shine bright, like a diamond, as Rihanna would say. Their signature emission spectrum comes from helium, nitrogen, carbon, and oxygen lines with less hydrogen than a star of ordinary types. These are rare diamonds, too. There's only 500 or so of these in our entire galaxy. So each one is precious. And that drove scientists using the James Webb Space Telescope to point Webb's powerful mid-infrared instrument also known as MIRI, towards this famous star system, WR124. MIRI showed us that this dynamic duo producing dust is mostly made of hydrocarbons. The production of hydrocarbons could play a role in seeding the carbon so essential for life on Earth throughout the universe. The companion to the wolf rayet star in the star system WR124 is a dense, muscular, and even larger partner weighing in at about 50 solar masses. And it's not nearly as bright or hot. It's called a blue supergiant. 
Now remember the periastron? That's the point of closest approach, which occurs periodically, as it does for anything that orbits around another object in space. An ellipse has two foci, one closer to the mutual center of gravity and one much farther away. Now, they get together at regular intervals, precisely every 7.9 years. This produces a massive radial circumstellar storm. Now, WR-124 has been observed by many, many other teams long before the James Webb Space Telescope's observation. Using so-called Long Baseline Radio Interferometry, or VLBI, it was observed previously in the radio regime of the electromagnetic spectrum. The Keck Telescope also looked at longer wavelengths than we can see with visible light using infrared cameras, and also by Webb's older brother, the Hubble Space Telescope. But until now, these periodic concentric dust rings were invisible. This star system held so much promise that Webb put it as one of its early science program top priorities and aimed the MIRI instrument at it to capture the cosmic surprises. Defying gravitational orbital mechanics, the size and scope of these concentric smoke rings could only be the result of the massive solar winds pushing the dust particles outward to thousands of times the, di the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The recurring solar storms of truly astronomical proportions are blowing vast amount of cosmic dusts, later to be recycled perhaps. Events in the Sun, such as solar flares and coronal mass ejections, light up the sky and could even cause a so-called Carrington event that could disrupt telecommunications for months or maybe even years if one of our power stations were to explode due to the overshock in what is effectively a giant power surge. This would disrupt navigation and increase radiation exposure. This happens frequently on Earth, and there hasn't been a Carrington event for over a century. Future space exploration initiatives, like the Breakthrough Starshot project may someday send spacecraft with solar sails that use these mass ejections and use the solar wind and the momentum they're in to accelerate spacecraft out of our solar system to dance with distant stars light years away to learn what might happen if life in the universe is discovered on one of the planets around these other stars click here and don't forget to subscribe